If you're having a bad day, remember that we unloaded 6,000 bricks in the wrong address. No, you're right. This is the one time I'll let someone do that. Y your day has been worse. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't think we have much time left on this planet. Contains back legs only. Wait. I, uh, <laughs> hold on. I don't know why that threw my brain for a loop. Apparently, it took three of my aunts way too long to figure out why the candle wouldn't light. This resonates with me on a very deep <laughs> level. <laughs> Does this look like an appropriate father-son interaction to you? Yeah, who does Joe Biden think he is loving his only living son? Not the other guy was trying to say that it's gay and fathers shouldn't, you know, love their sons in any way, shape, or form. That's what he was really trying to say. Why is no one on his staff telling him there are other options instead of a bandana? For for what? What? It, wh why is Prison Mike up there? What's going on? The satanic panic is back in full swing, everyone. How will the masses know we're worshipping Satan? Easy. We're going to put a pentagram on your devil suit. <laughs> I've seen the full image, that is not even remotely a pentagram, but okay, sweetie pie. Guy messages me because I commented something he disagreed with. Oh boy. Can you please delete your comment? Why? Because I don't like it. I could report you for harassment. Delete it. It's still here. Last warning, I'm gonna report you. Go for it. Emma Watson. Zelda. I know she's from a game, I don't play video games, and I have no issues about representation, but making Zelda a girl is a bit too much. They're overreaching. I know, right? Girl Zelda? It's so stupid. Japanese Knives Matter. Japanese Knife Company. Apologies from Japanese Knife Company. Japanese Knife Company. Black Knives Matter. Beautiful range of- oh my god. Kendall Jenner ate grilled cheese, fries, crepes, and more before hitting the Met Gala red carpet. Now that is bravery. I live in Syria, and this story gave me strength to carry on. Thank you for sharing her story. Holy crap! Did these people learn nothing from the Pepsi commercial? This dude! If women weren't sexually attractive, men wouldn't bother talking to them. Women are boring. Men are more interesting, funnier, and overall a better source of conversation than women. You wouldn't waste time talking to a woman unless you wanted to have sex with her. <laughs> Bro, just say you're gay. It's not hard. You are gay. It's okay. Come again another day. I don't know. Just been down to Tesco getting a sandwich and some crisps, and the lad at the checkout asked if I wanted to go for a drink. I told him I had a boyfriend, but I was flattered, but I couldn't. He said, no, it's part of the meal deal. You'll never catch me in Tesco ever again. <laughs> oh, I bet he thought it was plenty funny. I had a guy friend with a PhD in engineering ask me last week how women pee with a tampon in. And this is why men shouldn't be passing laws about women's bodies. What the hell is his PhD? Uh, yeah, you said engineering, right? Engineering. <laughs> I guess there are certain prerequisites you don't have to have to get that PhD, which, all right. What could go wrong? Vicky just ordered some spike strips so people will stop using her circular driveway to turn around. I hate to be this person. But I'm pretty tired of people using my circular drive as a pull-through turnaround. So much that I posted a sign at the end of my driveway. Apparently that isn't enough. That said, I just put two of these in my Amazon cart. They'll be here Monday. Things will work out the way they work out. May the odds forever be in your favor. I don't think that's gonna work out for you very well. This massive piece of junk mail. Oh my god. <laughs> that's like movie poster sized. Dude, you don't need me to come buy a car from you. You've clearly got enough money. The FAA doesn't need a woke administrator. It gives no comfort to the flying public that their pilot might be a transgender witch who doesn't actually know how to prevent a plane from crashing. <laughs> Maybe on your next escape to Cancun, you might get a transgender witch fly in your plane. <laughs> what does that even mean, though? I Seriously? How would you not be stoked as hell to have a transgender witch? Fly in your plane, because you know they're gonna be doing it with magic, you f***ing troll. Kids could end up in foster care over lunch debt, Pennsylvania School District warns parents. They are threatening to take children from their families because their parents can't afford to pay off a school lunch debt. This country really, really hates poor people. They don't see poor people as people. I, I say it pretty constantly, and I know I do. I don't care if it gets old, but the people at the top do not see us as humans. They don't even see us as animals. We're tools. And when the tool ain't sharp anymore, well, look at what happens. For real, though, they, they don't see us properly at all. And the fact that school lunch debt can be a thing, 
That's one of the most pathetic things I've ever heard, especially considering they will not allow anybody else to pay it off. In case anyone was wondering just how insane Republicans are, in the state of Tennessee, they're trying to ban a book about seahorses, claiming it normalizes gender fluidity and the idea that males can get pregnant. <laughs> this is where we are, folks. <laughs> wow, that is... okay. My daughter was just offered a teaching position at $16.25 an hour. She has two masters in education. That's 32 grand a year. No wonder they can't find good teachers. She was making 55 k as a bartender. Tiger paw technique. I am in a cell. I have extremely limited freedom of action. Every single day, I do 500 squats, 500 push-ups, practice my tiger paw technique, walk 10 kilometers. How do you know? How do you know you're walking 10 kilometers back and forth in your limited size cell? Write and complete lessons for the students inside the real world. Read and respond to hundreds of letters. Don't you think you can fly? You have to remove the protective coating. Ah, I see. Disappointed with the misrepresentation. Don't buy, you can't even see out of the shield. I love that. They don't realize that that plastic is on there to keep it from getting scuffed up before it gets to you. Holy crap, are you serious? A company worth 55 quintadrillion billion dollars offered $5 for each resident who had to flee their home due to the disaster it caused? Hmm. Norfolk Southern, the railway company responsible for an apocalyptic plume of gas rising over East Palestine, or Palestine, I still don't know, Ohio, has offered a $25,000 donation to assist the area's nearly 5,000. 25 grand? Wow, that is so pathetic. Ugh. I was leaving Kroger, and this woman outside with her baby in a stroller was asking for money. I was about to give her some money. This man yells out, Don't give her ass no money, that baby ain't real. Then he runs over and kicks the stroller. I'll be damned, baby wasn't real. She yelled, Damn you, Gary! Shout out to Gary. He the scam police. There are two types of people in this world. One, those who can extrapolate from incomplete data. Alright. So two of my classmates just asked our professor if his shirt is missing a second part. No. His shirt's not what's missing apart. There's something so demonic about this, and I can't even articulate what it is. It's the idea that someone with a disability needs to be cured. Holy God, shut the hell your mouth. Just shut the hell your mouth. Man suffers heart attack, dies at work. Coworkers gather for group selfie thinking he'd fallen asleep. <laughs> oh, awesome. Free shipping. Bottled... Oh my God. How many people bought this? It says five available. Hasn't, say, hasn't said whether or not any of them are sold, but you know, I've got a sneaky suspicion that this gambit works. But hey though, yeah, they're right, free shipping. Oh my God, look at what socialism's done to my beautiful country. It's preserved our ancient history, given us healthcare and our money's worth more than the US dollar. It's so horrible. Really? Why are there thousands of people from your country hopping the border to come into the US? Italy? Are you okay? They, no, they're not. Literally every regular person I know is talking about how to shoot down the Chinese spy balloon. It would be great if an average Joe shot it down because China Joe won't. Regular Americans can do everything better than the government and actually care about our country. You know, it's funny that you work in the government. Huh, really funny. Yeah, still don't know how the f got there. Don't eat or drink anything after midnight, before his three-year-old daughter's surgery the next morning. Tonsils and adenoids? While intubating his daughter the next morning, she vomited scrambled eggs, causing her to aspirate them into her lungs. Her heart stopped, and I did chest compressions on her for 25 minutes. We got her back, aborted the surgery, and transferred her to pediatric ICU on a ventilator. Her father's response? She said she was hungry. I thought you were being too hard on her. It must have been something you did to her. Boy, honestly, the worst part about every story like this is that the only person being punished is the tiny child, the little toddler. The small, little baby child. And it was Dad's fault. Dad, you, you almost killed your three-year-old. You, you did. Your fault. Holy crap. All kids these days talk about is politics. We found this on our daughter's bedroom door this morning. January 6th affected kids just as much as it did adults, possibly more. Stay safe and hold your loved ones close. I'm not coming out until Donald Trump says sorry for January 6th. <laughs> wow. Woo, jeez, this is... Yo, this rank, dude. This guy goes to Stanford. Did I leave the phone in your room? I put it in the drawer. No? How are you texting me, though? Uh, yes, good night. <laughs> <laughs> the election was Stalin. 
Watch the Twitter hearings going on right now in Washington. They admit that the presidential election of 2020 was rigged and stolen. What's going to be done about this? Nothing, because you're making that again? Which addiction is yours? God, I just love Uber too much. I can't stop ordering Ubers to my house and having them drive me to the nearest bus stop, calling another Uber to go to the next one. Now me, personally, I'm a little bit addicted to, uh, <coughs> Photoshop. The Uvalde mom, who escaped police interference and even handcuffs to run into the school and save her children from a mass shooter, says Texas law enforcement threatened her with a probation violation if she talked about her story to the media. There's so much I could say that I'm just not going to say. I'm just not gonna do it. Nope, can't make me. Oh man, I did the same thing. A girl asked if we could study together since I was doing pretty well in the class. We meet up and she insists we go find a quiet part of the library where it was just the two of us. Looking back, she pretty much just asked me questions about my life, laughed a lot at anything funny I said, and touched my arm and leg a few times. We never studied at all and I remember leaving there thinking, no wonder she isn't doing too well in class. She isn't very good at studying. You? Can I sue my beekeeper neighbor? Every day I see my neighbor's bees flying around my garden, stealing the pollen or nectar from my flowers. Then, the bees go back to my neighbor and creates honey. My neighbor then harvests the honey and sells it at Pepper Place Market for profit. All right. I've never received so much as a jar as compensation, and every day my neighbor's bees trespass and steal my flowers. I was stung once when I was a child, so I know how dangerous bees can be. The way I see it, this is equivalent to a person's dog coming into my yard to steal balls or tools. No, it's not. Do I have legal ground to sue? What type of things should I begin documenting in order to prepare for a legal battle? I know it doesn't say what country this is happening in, but you know it's the United States. You absolutely know. When someone goes to this length to figure out a way to ruin someone else's life or steal money from them, you know it's in the US. The only thing I can say in this person's favor is, Look, Mr. Beekeeper, why don't you give them some goddamn honey every now and then, dude? It's like a neighbor that has a bunch of chickens going, We've got too many damn eggs. Let's start giving eggs to the neighbors if they need some. But no. Keeping all that honey to yourself, dude? At least one jar because your neighbor's keeping kick-ass flowers that's helping out the production? Come on, dude. But yeah, this person's insane. A teacher battling cancer ran out of sick days, so school employees showered him with theirs. <laughs> what if? Hear me out. We didn't have a system that required a person battling cancer to rely on the generosity of their colleagues for sick days. <laughs> no, that's stupid. The majority of humankind live in the US. It's true, don't you know? Are you actually Russian? Yes. Wow, do you have like a thick accent? Not really, I've been told- I'm not gonna do it. I've been told I have an accent, but it's hard to identify. Do you currently live in Russia? Yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. Why are you surprised? because most people around the world move to the US. Uh, no. Most people around the world live in their homelands. <laughs> no, no, literally everybody moves to the United States. Don't you know it's the only country? I can't do this anymore. Real. You ever travel outside the country? Uh, yeah, but mostly North America. No, not outside of the country. What? There's always Canada and Mexico. Those two countries are also part of North America. Maybe get an intern who knows what week versus month is. Yeah, maybe. But it is the Wall Street Journal, who gives a crap? A virtual track train? This is incredible. China's testing its new autonomous electric train that does not need traditional tracks. It runs on a virtual track and can go everywhere. Mother that's a bendy bus. That is true. That is very, very true. It's probably using some of that technology that Disney's trackless rides do, you know what I mean? How is this better than building tracks? Eventually something bad's gonna happen, right? If you smoke marinara, feel free to unfriend me. I only smoke mozzarella, tripping my balls on some ranch right now. Does she not know what acting is? Keanu Reeves would totally crap himself if anyone actually tried to kill him, let alone thousands of evil hitmen. He's just a makeup-wearing salesman. And what he's selling are lies. Violence isn't sexy, death isn't easy, and karma won't get you. Keanu, try selling truth. This this is so far on the stupid side of things that it's it has to be fake. It has to be bait. Apparently billionaires are more important than lessening homelessness. Oh, oh, absolutely! Hey look, it's the Finland thing again. They should always be used as an example in this particular case. <laughs> we need billionaires. We don't need homeless people. Man, I lay on the sarcasm so thick. I, 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 I think surely, surely people would have to understand my tone. But some people still don't, I swear to God. How anti-immigration policies are leading prisons to lease convicts as field laborers. This is called slavery. 
You lease property, not people. And when people are property, they're slaves. Remember, the 13th Amendment didn't completely abolish slavery. It kept it around so that prisoners could legally be slaves. Th they are slaves. That's what they did. Didn't anyone else say two men on the I-4 fighting, one with a chainsaw? I was driving home westbound a little before the Fairbanks exit at 6.18 p.m. and two guys who appeared to have gotten into a fender bender were off to the side. One with a chainsaw in hand, about to go at it with one another. I immediately called 911 and reported it to the police. The heat's coming and the Florida man is in full force. Stay safe out there. Motherfucker pulled out a chainsaw? A feminist cafe that charged 18% more to men disappears due to lack of customers. Hmm. Aimed at vegan lesbians. Created controversy for establishing a tax on men, charging them 18% more. You know, it's funny. They probably would have been doing just fine if they had never advertised the fact that they were doing this. But you know that that was part of the, the gambit, right? No, you just sh don't even put it on the receipt. You should just steal money. Sh it's fine. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, God. In the 1970s, North Korea ordered 1,000 Volvo cars from Sweden as a response to its emerging economy. The cars were shipped and delivered, but North Korea just didn't bother paying and ignored the invoice. To this day, the bill remains unpaid, making it the largest car theft in history. You know, it reminds me of a saying. I don't know where it came from. If I owe the bank $100,000, that's my problem. If I owe the bank $100 million, that's the bank's problem, right? So I do have to say, while North Korea did steal 1,000 cars, the fact that Sweden made them, shipped them, delivered them, without taking any money? That's a Sweden problem, right? Am I the only one that thinks that? I'm not trying to give brownie points to North Korea for stealing a thousand cars from another country, but dude, come on. You didn't take payment for production first? What? I'm sorry. They outplayed you so hard. <laughs> Man, is it that easy? Can I call up Volvo right now and then just get them to make me like 5 million cars? You think that'll work? Gonna try this again since people don't seem to understand. Told my grandma to get me a burrito from Chipotle, and she makes slash gives me this. It is literally not what I asked for, hence it's mildly infuriating. So this person's mad that grandma made homemade food instead of junk food. I'm sorry, but that looks awesome. Your grandma's awesome, and you're a whiny little bitch. Thank you all again for the calls about the lights in the sky. It appears as though Jupiter and Venus are visible the next two nights. In the western sky, and are very close together. This ain't the Middle Ages anymore, guys. You don't have to assume that a meteor shower is the end of the world, and you... <sighs> Never mind. Never mind, I'm just gonna let dumb dogs be dumb. That is not a saying. Where the hell did that come from?